Shana Paul. Shana Paul. Ruben Carl. Uh, who the hell's Ruben Carl? I don't know who he's talking about. <laughs> Just give me the lot. Uh, you know, Don Omar, King of Reggaeton, retired in 2018, uh, recognized for many of his songs uh, that have, in more recent years, become Zumba fitness classics. Ooh, I love Zumba, and I am like like that a Danza Cudaro. Wait, say that again. <laughs> Danza Cudaro. It's so cute when you say it. I mean, you're, I you're doing so well I'm with trying. the R's. You know, you're doing a good job. White boy is over here trying. I don't know who that is. No, that's the song. Oh, that, who sings that, Lucenzo. though? Lucenzo. Lucenzo? Yeah. I don't know Lucenzo. Go to a Zumba class. <laughs> I love Zumba. I, I'm Don not... Omar's all over it. Okay. <laughs> like the godfather of Zumba. <laughs> uh, Selena Gomez. Let's spend a few minutes on her. Doesn't She's just so cute. I love Selena I Gomez. Definitely a standout voice in today's pop music. You know when a Selena Gomez song is on the radio. She has a very beautiful voice. And and like you said, it does stand out, you know, from the rest. I love the message and and the overall vibe that she has going on. Mm -hmm. Uh, Very body positive. Speaks out about her battle with mental health. Oh, yeah. Very like her important. and Demi Lovato. Or, or you can feel that girl Saying it's power. okay to not be okay. Definitely, you know, girl positivity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, some other male artists that are killing it right now. Uh, Maluma. Gotta listen to some Maluma, Adrian. Okay, I'm not like familiar. Like the male Shakira. Really? Oh, yeah. I'm getting educated on this. Okay. Uh, J Balvin? Never heard? No? Mm-mm. Okay. Again, on the reggaeton side of things. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, have you heard of Prince Royce? I've heard the name, but I'm not familiar with the music. Big fan of his. Um, okay. Kind of the Hispanic version of Usher. Oh. Got those R&B vibes. Ooh, okay. But That's some party music vibes, to. too. Okay, mm-hmm. And a little bit of everything. And then, of course, um, in the last couple of years, uh, Luis Fonzi. Oh, yes. Very Despacito familiar with him. <laughs> with Justin Bieber remix. I mean, hello, where have you been if you have not heard that song? Right. I mean, it's everywhere. Still gets requested at dances, weddings. Weddings, mm-hmm. You know, any event you go to uh, where you want to get people out on the dance floor, you put on Despacito. That's it. Any mm-hmm. other song mentions? Have you heard of another singer named Juanes? I've heard of Juanes. Juanes is very good. Yeah. Very good. Uh, let's see, we were talking about, we got Selena, J-Lo, Ricky Martin, Enrique. I, I think we covered almost everyone on my list. Pitbull. Of course, we encourage our listeners, because I'm, I'm sure we're missing, we're missing a lot. quite a few. Please educate us. Let us know about other Latino, Hispanic you know, musicians out there that we've missed. Oh, how do we not get through this without talking about Enrique? Enrique. I mean, we mentioned him briefly earlier yes, in the episode, but for, he is like the Mr. Steal Your Girl of the Latin community, is yes, he not? Yes, and for those who are younger that don't know, his dad is Julio. Right. So, I mean, and his dad... Me and Julio down by the schoolyard. Thank you. And his dad is still active in music. I mean, he has been doing this for a very long time. Mm-hmm. I would say not as much success in the States in recent years, mm-hmm. but he was crushing it early in his career. I miss him. You know, he was right up there with Ricky Martin. I mean, it was just two huge powerhouses. And then I think like the mole overshadowed his music after a while. Remember the mole he had on his face and that was all anyone he talked about looked, for a while and then he, he went looked, and got it removed? I think that mole was fine. And that, isn't it back now or something? Is it? I, I thought I heard it's back. Mole, no mole, whatever. Who is he married to again? The tennis player? Anna Kornikova? Does she care about the mole? No. Mic drop. Exactly. Those two together. Power couple. How cool is it, though, that a lot of uh, these music power couples Mm -hmm. have come from a Hispanic heritage? Yeah. And I think it's a good place to kind of wind down the episode. I mean, Yeah, I had fun. I did, too. Like I said, I know we're missing several. That's where it's up to the listener to maybe educate us a little bit please, more. Please, please. post on all of our social media channels. Again, at UTI Music Pod on Twitter and, uh, and Instagram and at Under the Influence Music Podcast on Facebook. And as we like to do, are you prepared? No, I was just going to tell you, I failed. I, I looked at my list and I'm like, ah! 
<laughs> Maybe you can make them up as we so go. So I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna try to do it on the fly. Okay. What we like to do every one of our. <laughs> I'm glad this uh, segment is back. By the way, I've missed doing this. Gosh. It feels like months ago. It uh, does. It feels one like of forever. our favorite wrap up segments after we give some final thoughts is we have a song lyric association game that we love to play. So basically, Adrian and I we give each other three words in like about ten seconds to come up <laughs> with a song title or that word used in a popular song. Yes, and I'm always terrible at this game, but that's what makes it so fun. <laughs> sure. Okay. So do you want me to throw out a, a word at you first? Yes, thank you. All right, your first word, because we're talking about <laughs> Spanish music. Okay. Heat, like as in Latino heat. Ooh, heat. Okay, um, I'm going to go with Jamiroquai can't heat. I've never heard that, but I love Jamiroquai. Oh, How have I not heard that song? Oh, oh. Whoa. You have to listen to it. Yeah. It's one of my, I love Jamiroquai. You know who ripped off Jamiroquai? Who? Adam Levine. L- listen to the song Sunday Morning by Maroon 5. I love that song. Album uh, Songs About Jane. Okay. It's basically Virtual Insanity by Jamiroquai. What? Yeah, I yeah. Th- okay, well, now I have to listen to it. But And Adam Levine will admit it to you. I've heard him say in <gasps> interviews, like, he'll be like, oh, yeah, like, I love Jamiroquai shit. Like, I ripped off JK. Oh, my God. Can't he? Yes, Jamiroquai. Okay. I'm go listen to them again this oh. week. Love, love, love. Okay, so I'm going to give you one. This is an easy one. All right. Hips. Hip to be square. <laughs> Huey Lewis in the news. I didn't want to go with the square. obvious with Shakira because we mentioned bum, it earlier. Bum, bum, but And how I, I can't dance. I don't know any other hip, hip songs other than that. I love that. I love Huey hip Lewis in the news. Square. Love it. Huey nice. Lewis in the news. Thanks for taking those out. Yeah. Bringing back some 80s. Bring it on. I love Huey Lewis. Your next word, because of the season we just got into, okay. is fall. Fall. Okay. Let's see. Fallen for you. And I can't think of the artist. Kobe Calais, maybe? Yes, thank I'm you. Falling yes. for you. Yes, thank you. I think I've played that at some weddings. I love Kobe Calais. Yeah, I do too. Miss her. Okay, ready for the next one? Ready. Living. Living on the edge. Ooh. Uh, Aerosmith. Living on the edge. Amazing. Yeah. Have we, we, we haven't even done an Aerosmith podcast yet. We haven't. I'm writing that down. That'll be like... Oh, boy. <laughs> we'll have to split that up into sections. That's going to be fun. Your last word for me, because it's Halloween season, spook season. I love Halloween. So I'm going to give you the word shout, like as, you know, you're going through a haunted house and okay. yelling and shouting. I'm going with shout, shout, let, let it all out. out. These are the things I can do without. <laughs> Come, Come on. on. Did you ever hear the uh, metal band Disturbed do their version of that? No, but I'm going to write that down because Not I want to see that. It's different. Disturbed covered it. Disturbed. Like okay. the, wah, like those guys, the, the down with the sickness and the. Oh, guys, is it really good? Is it a good cover? It's, it's not bad. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to check that out. You know, it checks a couple boxes for me. Okay. You're I like f- Tears for Fears and, and covers of 80s songs. And like, I, I love 80s. That would go listen to like a disturbed album or just like a few of their own songs. And, and then that, go listen to that one, okay. the, the Tears for Fears cover, and you're like, I would not expect them to do this. Okay. They also, like in a couple, of, like the past couple of years, they covered like a Simon and Garfunkel Sound of Silence. What? Oh, dude, I'm telling you, the lead singer of, of Disturbed, I mean, like, he's got that very grovelly, like shouting, very, ah, like metal singer voice. Yes. But like, he also has some great range. Okay. Sound of Silence, another great cover. Okay. I'm going to check them out this weekend. I just want Disturbed to put out an uh, album of cover songs. They should try to cover Raffi. <laughs> Could you imagine? Who? Raffi. You know who Raffi is. Oh, Raffi. <laughs> yes. I want to hear that. Oh, my cover, gosh, like Raffi. A Ra- like a Raffi song. Oh, I'm so glad you brought That's a great way to end the episode. Isn't that? Okay, like right there. Raffi, we love you. Wherever you are, six feet above or below ground, we love you, Raffi. I love it. You're our world. Yes. So good to do this with you again. So good to see you. I can't wait for some other episodes coming up. Oh my gosh. Yes, we're going to have a lot of little like mini episodes to take you through season two. Right. We'll have some uh, some teasers of some of the next episodes that are coming up. We've also decided that um, it's really tough to try to do an episode per week. 
just because we're on opposite uh, schedules, and my wife and I, in the next two to three weeks, are expecting our Yay! second child. So, yeah, so, we're adding another car to the Ozzy Osbourne crazy train here. It's going to be a little bit of a crazy train, so we're doing our best to try to, you know, coordinate this in between all the chaos, but we're not going to leave you empty-handed. Life is happening. Life <laughs> happens. Yes. Life happens. happens. God, so good. So good to see you again. I just want to be your hero.